good morning. Good morning. It's a good one. It is, isn't it? Well, it's morning anyways. I don't know if it's good for you or not. Make it good. We're here in Fargo, North Dakota at the Flying J in the United States of America. Today we will get up to Regina, Saskatchewan, Can <coughs> Canada. <coughs> Still a good morning, still a good morning, huh? Figured we'd start the day off right and spend a little over $300. It's the best way to start any day. You just go out there and you just throw $300 at something. Then you know your day's gonna be great. 133 US gallons at $2.35, or $2.36 American per gallon. That's actually a pretty good price. It's not bad, not bad. Bye bye, $300. Well, let's get back out on the road. Let's go burn that money, literally. Let's just go burn it. Let's just shoot it right out of our exhaust. That's what I seem to do with all my money. All right, we've got our fuel. We're all set, ready to go, locked and loaded. <coughs> A little bit of cough today, to get rid of that. I'll try to leave that in Fargo, how about that? Lights are on for safety. At least the running lights are. Blow this popsicle stand. Let's get out of Fargo. Hey! Hey, how dare you leave at the same time as me? You and your railway wheels. Train wheels. Whatever you call those things. Still can't believe how great the weather is here. It's almost mid December. It's amazing. I hope it stays like this. Beautiful prairies. The plains of North Dakota. We are on Interstate 94 westbound here in North Dakota. We'll be going up to about Jamestown and then headed up on a little two lane road up towards Saskatchewan for the rest of the day. So we're not going to have these four lane highways very long, unfortunately. And unfortunately, I was just talking to Stefan. Well, you met him at that barbecue this last summer. He's up up north right now, and he says it's bad. He says there's snow and rain and ice that I have to look forward to. All right, so you guys might get to see some hairy weather today. I mean, the day doesn't last very long, the daylight hours, so maybe you'll see it in the morning, but... Not really looking forward to that. I was kind of enjoying avoiding winter because you know that is the that is the goal of every winter is to avoid winter. Every once in a while, you got to go up there and make an appearance and then run back south as fast as you can. You know what I mean? Well, this year feels like home. Wide open spaces. Must be nice to be able to do the speed limit. I'm governed at 65, 100 kilometers an hour, 105 kilometers an hour. The speed limit here is 75 mile an hour. Once you hit Montana, I think, or Idaho, the speed limit goes up to 80 miles an hour. It's awesome. Well, here's the two lane highway I promised. This is all we'll have until we get to Regina. We're a few hours from the Canadian border yet and then a few hours up to Regina. The plan once we get there is to sleep. In the morning, we unload at 10 a.m. It's a good, good delivery time, I like that time. 10 a.m., not too early, not too late. It wasn't my choice, but whoever made that choice, thank you. And then we pick up a load around the area after we 
back to our Manitoba yard near Winnipeg, which is about six hours away. So we got six hours of driving tomorrow. I'll go home for the night, wash the dogs' beds and stuff, and we'll head back out on the road the next day. We're not going to stay home for too long. Just rolling through the town of Martin here. Dad, you have your own town. I didn't even know that. Look at this. Town of Martin. Very nice. Well put together. Well planned out. Very nice. Neat and organized. Sounds like Dad. I'm looking for coffee. I don't know about you. Well, this is a long, boring road through northern North Dakota here. Not much out here. A serious lack of stops where I could get a nice cup of coffee. This truck driver needs some coffee. Every time I see a store that might sell it, it's too late and I go rolling past. weather so far is holding out, but it is getting a little worse as we get further towards Canada. Another couple of hours to go yet. Drake, North Dakota. This is like home of the 50 cent cup of coffee, I'm pretty sure. Been here a couple of times. Oh yes, yes. Please tell me you got some cheap coffee. Actually, I don't even care. I wanted to be good coffee. It doesn't have to be cheap. It's not Starbucks expensive, that's stupid. So we're still on Highway 52 here in North Dakota. Like I said, in Drake. It's so muddy here, I don't want to get out in the mud. I should have parked on the cement. Oh well. Okay, so I got what, a dollar? Dollar fifty here. If the coffee's more expensive than that, I won't be happy, because last time I was here, it was 50 cents. Dollar 25 for that. Bit of a price increase, don't you think? Still cheaper than Timmy's and definitely cheaper than Starbucks. Anything's cheaper than Starbucks. Alright, back on the road, back on the road, we got our coffee, got the vlog edited, we're still way ahead of schedule. And we're going to be arriving in Regina five and a half hours or so, sometime this evening, and then we unload tomorrow at 10. But the weather looks like it's starting to not cooperate, hopefully it doesn't get too bad. Here we are, Blue Beacon in uh, Minot, North Dakota. I think we're in Minot. Minot, but it might not be Minot. Might not be Minot. But there's a Blue Beacon here. That is definitely a Blue Beacon. 
We're gonna go in there, we're gonna get the truck washed, we're gonna get the engine washed, we're gonna get the undercarriage washed. My truck's gonna be a happy truck. She's gonna be nice and clean. She needs a bath. Get all that salt off of there. All right, truck is nice and clean again. It's probably gonna get dirty overnight again because we're probably gonna drive into some snow, but at least there will only be one layer of salt on it instead of two. winter time it's always kind of pointless to wash the truck if you are thinking about just keeping it clean oh I can't exit here can I I don't want to go right though I want to go left oh geez this is so confusing well I guess we're going right you don't turn around somewhere okay this is frustrating I got lost trying to get into Blue Beacon too this is the most complicated parking lot ever why can't I turn left here it doesn't even make any sense Go do a U-turn then, Fang. I know, man. You were going the wrong way. I realize that. Go do a U-turn. I bet you anything there's going to be a no U-turn sign at that intersection. Had to go all the way back down to the overpass here. We're going to have to do a U-turn over the overpass. The correct way of doing a U-turn. Oh, well. In 500 meters, turn left on US 52 branch, then turn left. That's what I'm planning on doing, Mandy. That is what I just told the good people. Thanks for repeating what I just said. She did use more technical terms, though. Got to give her that. Oh, turn nice. left on US 52 branch, then turn left. What she said. Just coming up to the Canadian border, the big building on the left, that's the American side. And the little itty bitty shack up ahead here, that's the Canadian side. I don't know why ours is so much smaller. What, are they overcompensating for something? I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying. Observing. Where do I gotta go? Jeff and Larry's Comedy Roundup. What keeps me company at the late, in the late hours of the night when I'm driving. We're here in Regina, Saskatchewan, and yes, I listen to the Comedy Channel. I usually listen to them late at night, like I was saying, because it's what keeps me awake and it makes me feel better. Because I'm usually tired and mm, it's been a long day. It's amazing what laughter can do. I know this lighting is probably really bad for you guys, so I apologize, but I'm gonna end the day here. We are in the city of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. We are gonna be delivering here tomorrow, picking up another load in Weyburn, a little south of here, and headed back to the Manitoba Yard, and then it looks like I'm headed back west in Canada. Not too sure yet, but that's a good bet to bet on if you're making bets. We'll see you tomorrow anytime after 4 a.m. Don't forget, down below in the description, you can find past vlogs of mine. See what I've been doing in the past. See what I was doing on this day, one and two years ago, down below in the description. All kinds of different ways you can become a part of the channel. Get all kinds of special stuff down below. I'll see you tomorrow.